Hi everyone and welcome back to this FPS game tutorial series. So in this video we are going to add the player health. We are going to create this text that displays the amount of health. Also we are going to add the take damage function. So we can take damage. As you can see the health is reduced when we are in the range of this uh, projectile. And if the health is less than zero, we are going to reload the scene. But you could display some kind of game over screen so that we can uh, replay the game again. So before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any one of my next videos. And let's jump right into it. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a text so that we can display the amount of health under our canvas. Let's right click. UI and let's use a text mesh pro and let's call it player health then let's change its position using shift alt I'm gonna put it down here also let's go ahead and move it a little bit on the X and on the Y as well and I want to change the text to plus then for example 100 then let's go down here and let's change the color to a green one also, let's go ahead and change the uh, font size. Now we need to create a player manager script so that we can add some variables like the player health and whether the game is over or not. So let's go under the scripts folder and let's right click create C sharp script and let's call it player manager. And let's open it up in Visual Studio. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a public variable int and let's call it player health or player hp i'm gonna give it the default value 100 also let's go ahead and make it static so that we can access it from other scripts using the player manager so add this keyword static then let's save now we need to create a take damage function so that we can apply damage so let's go down here and let's create public void and let's call it take damage and let's pass in the amount of damage using int damage amount and in here we will simply reduce the player health using player hp minus equals the damage amount also we need to check if it's less than zero in that case we need to display some kind of uh, game over screen or whatever but i'm gonna create a boolean first so let's go down here and let's add public static boolean and let's call it is game over so by default it's false so let's initialize it to false using is game over equals false and down here we need to check if the health is less than zero using if player health if it's less or equal to zero in that case let's change the boolean using is game over equals true here we can check if the game is over using if is game over we're going to add that later on but also we need to display the player hp and to do that first of all we need to add a reference to the ui text that we've just created using public and because we're using the text mesh pro let's go ahead and use the namespace using the text mesh pro and down here let's declare the ui element and the type is called text mesh pro ugui and let's call it player hp text we're going to reference that from the inspector and down here we can update the text under the update method using player hp text dot text equals the plus icon and then we can concatenate the uh, amount of health using the player hp variable so let's save the script but now we need to call this function somewhere in our code basically we've created an enemy script then we've added this projectile script as well so over here when the projectile collides with an object we're playing the explosion sound also we're instantiating the impact effect but also we need to check if our player is in range then we need to apply damage to him by calling the take damage function let's go ahead and get all of the objects that are very close to the projectile Basically, we have a built-in function which is called physics.overlapsphere. 
we can give it a range and then it's going to return all of the objects that are uh, close to the projectile so let's go ahead and declare colliders it's returning the colliders so we can create an array of colliders and let's call them colliders equals physics dot overlap sphere we need to give it the position basically we need to give it the projectile position using transform dot position and then we need to give it the range we can create a variable up here using public int I think it's float and let's call it radius you could also call it range as well I'm gonna initialize it to uh, three units then let's go ahead and pass it as the second parameter and then we can look through all of the elements under this array and we can check if uh, it's the player in that case we can call the take damage function so we can use for each collider and let's call it nearby object in the colliders array we can check if the nearby object is the player using dot tag equals the player in that case we can call the function using the player manager script so in order to access the function we can use the find object of type player manager but let's go ahead and use the static keyword so let's use public static so that we can simply access the function using the player manager script using player manager dot take damage and we can pass in here the damage amount we could add another variable up here using public int and let's call it damage amount so let's give it a default value of 15 then down here we can pass in this variable using the damage amount and that's going to reduce the player health so let's save the scripts first of all we need to add the player manager script so I'm gonna create an empty game object and let's call it player manager as well then let's attach our script then we need to add a reference to the player HP text and it's this one so let's go ahead and drag it in here now if we hit play so in this game I've added an enemy so if you didn't watch the videos go ahead and check them out so when we are too close as you can see he's chasing and as you can see the health is reduced when we are in the range of the uh, projectile and yeah and if it's less than zero nothing is happening that's because we didn't add the logic when the player health is less than zero so it's very simple let's go back to the player manager script and under here when the game is over I'm gonna replay the level so in order to reload the level we need to use the scene management uh, namespace so let's go up here using unity engine dot scene management and let's go under the game over and we can use scene manager dot load scene here we can pass in the name of the scene or the index for now I have just one scene and it's called level we can pass in this level a string so before I finish this video I want to display some kind of uh, blood overlay image when the player takes damage so first of all we need to create a simple image so I'm gonna use Photoshop and let's go ahead and create a new image and let's call it a blood overlay then I'm gonna use a simple gradient so we can select this icon then we have this gradient option and let's go ahead and select one of these basically I'm gonna use this one and let's change the style to the radial one and I'm gonna reverse the colors and let's go ahead and change the black color to a red one by selecting this icon and let's go ahead and select a red color then hit OK also let's go ahead and remove this background image so we need to make it transparent now let's go ahead and save it using file save as I'm gonna put it under my desktop and let's save it as a PNG format now let's go ahead and import this image into unity you could also download it from uh, Google or whatever and I'm gonna put it under the GUI folder then let's go ahead and change the type to spray to the and UI and let's hit apply now let's go ahead and create the actual image under this canvas using right click UI and let's use an image and let's call it a blood overlay as well I'm gonna make it uh, full screen using shift alt I'm gonna select this option 
then we can select the sprite or we can simply drag in the sprite over here basically we are going to enable this object or this UI element when the player takes damage for a couple of seconds so by default it's disabled so let's go to the player manager script and under here in order to wait for a couple of seconds we need to use coroutines so first of all we need to use the namespace using system.collections then we can use the coroutine by changing the return type using i enumerator and under here we can enable the overlay image first of all we need to add a reference to it using public game object and let's call it a blood overlay as well and down here we can access the blood overlay image using blood overlay and I think we have a problem basically we can't access this game object because the function is static so I'm gonna remove the static keyword and let's go ahead and use blood overlay dot set active true then we can wait two seconds using the yield return new wait for seconds so I'm gonna pass in 1.5 I think it's okay then we can disable it again using blood overlay dot set active false now let's save the script and before we uh, hit play so this function is an i enumerator and in order to call it we need to use the start coroutine function first of all we can't access the function using the player manager that's because the function is not static at this point so let's go ahead and use find object of type player manager then let's call the function using dot take damage and I'm gonna pass in the damage amount but in order to call the coroutine function we need to use the start coroutine so I'm gonna cut this and let's use start coroutine and we need to pass in this function like that also I want to change this line of code so instead of destroying the game object we need to disable the script that's because when you destroy the game object the coroutine will be interrupted and that's going to mess up everything so instead of destroying the projectile game object let's go ahead and use this dot enable it equals false so that we can disable the projectile script and I think that's pretty much it let's go ahead and save all of these scripts then let's go ahead and reference the blood overlay image so make sure to select the player manager and let's drag in the blood overlay image so let's go to our enemy and when we take damage we have this overlay image and the health is reduced and if the health is less than zero we're going to reload the scene and yeah as you can see now we are playing the game again but we have one problem the health is minus five so we need to make sure that the health is initialized to 100 all the time and to fix that we can go down here and under the start method let's go ahead and use player hp equals 100 so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss any one of my next videos and i will see you in the next one